Good morning. It's a pleasure to have this esteemed company in The Hague. We are very much attached to the Hadaya conference and the work that it's doing uh, on this important subject. Your work is crucial to bring together global experts in the field of countering violent extremism. The importance of addressing the root causes that allow terrorism to spread cannot be overstated. Prevention must be our number one priority. Over the next three days, you will examine contemporary CVE challenges, including violent extremism online. So I will discuss uh, Islamic State uh, online content and also the, their usage of AI. This is a very timely uh, initiative as we increasingly struggle with the grappling consequences of new developments and new technologies. Unfortunately, this violent extremism has moved from one place to the other. And I would like to present something on the uh, aftermath of terrorist attacks. So we are a network of, of, of practitioners, academics, policymakers, uh, industry representatives, and we are looking at sort of the nexus of, of extremism in the online gaming space. So I can't talk about offline behavior as opposed to online behavior. These are part of daily life. From develop, traditional development NGO perspective, there is a growing, growing recognition that CVE can't be ignored and needs to be accounted in their programming design. I would like to share the example of uh, something called uh, Abai Abai, which I think translates to sister to sister, as women come together in these circles and discuss um, issues about domestic violence, about triggers um, or drivers of, of conflict. That for us, that was um, quite enlightening to see that. Uh, I think what has worked is uh, clear communication to engage with human story and, and, and people as human beings so that they can, you can relate to their story and recognize them. I need better understanding on vulnerabilities. What exactly makes an individual vulnerable mentally, emotionally, socially? Hidayah, this conference and speaking to the people here and hearing the sessions, that has equipped me to know what is actually the, to diagnose the problem. To, to be successful means that someone did not radicalize, which is something that's very difficult to accurately measure. In short, it's been, it's been an amazing conference as always. It's always extremely good in making sure that it brings together practitioners and researchers and governments and different um, parts of the industry. It's not just researchers or academics, it's also practitioners, people involved in policy work. And I think in this type of work that we do, it's very important to bridge all of these areas. We look forward to attending every single year. It's a great place to network. It's a great place to learn new ideas from people who are working in disparate parts of the globe and to kind of better understand how some of the dynamics we're seeing in very, very specific locations actually really match dynamics that we're seeing in locations that we wouldn't have thought about. It doesn't matter which organizations we work for. We are all one family and one team, and that's how I see you, actually. Please consider us as your partners. Our partnerships and engagements will start, continue, and develop. And I thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you in person. Thank you very much. And it's a pleasure to have you as our friends. Thank you.